Hi guys, I am back with another video. Kelsey testifies her and Meg had an altercation. Let's get into it. Before we get into this, y'all like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of my videos, and go ahead and share it if you like. So you seen the other video where Kelsey got immunity, where they can't use her testimony against her, which made us think, okay, she the one that did this to Meg. Now, they start asking Meg, what was Kelsey? She was like, I don't know where Kelsey was. But she said Kelsey was sitting behind her, but when she got out the car, she don't know where Kelsey was. Now, Kelsey says something different. Kelsey says she got out the car with Meg, and then they start asking about what happened with them, and basically... She let everybody know that her and Meg got into basically an altercation, but she tried to say a little bump as if it wasn't nothing serious. But we got a nail broken off, um, bra strap, uh, bathing suit strap broken, and all kinds of stuff. So it's getting real. So I'm starting to feel like it's Kelsey that might have done that to her. And Tori wasn't telling the story. But I don't know because it keeps going back and forth, back and forth. I don't know what to think. But anyway, I'm going to let you hear the lawyer, and then I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Kelsey is done testifying. We're on a 15 minute break. This has to be quick. The key moment of her testimony, I think, has to come down to when the defense attorney elicited testimony from her suggesting that there was a physical altercation between her and Meg. Kelsey seemed very hesitant answering these questions like she didn't want to say. However, she then said, hey, we both got out of the car. You will remember Meg testified that Meg got out of the car. She does not know where Kelsey was. Kelsey was on the passenger side and that she turned around and she, she, she saw Tori shooting at her. Kelsey testified that this part she remembers. She and Meg both got out of the car and that there was a physical altercation. Kelsey described it as a bump. The defense attorney was like, really? You guys are super drunk. You just got into a yelling match with her over the fact that she was hooking up with Tori without you knowing. You also mentioned to her that this wasn't the first time she betrayed you like that. She had done it with one other guy. Interestingly, the defense had said it was Ben Simmons and the baby. Kelsey said, I only named one name. She didn't confirm if it was Ben Simmons or the baby. And the defense attorney is like, so after all that, you guys both get out of the car and all that happened between the two of you was a bump. I'll tell you, I don't think anybody in the room believes that the only thing that happened between Meg and Kelsey that night as far as a physical altercation is a bump, especially not when the rest of the testimony confirmed that other than discussing how she's gonna be moving out of the Airbnb that she was staying at with Meg and she's gonna be going somewhere else, other than a brief communication about her living arrangement, the two of them have not spoken. They have not called each other on the phone. They have not met in person. They do not talk. Okay, y'all, this is getting crazy. So, Kelsey and Meg end up getting an altercation over the fact that Meg slept with Tori. And Kelsey was supposed to be with Tori. But, you know, Meg had hooked up Tori and Kelsey. But it was two other guys that Kelsey was messing with that Meg ended up messing with afterwards. So, I don't know if she wasn't very upset about them. But the fact that she didn't know about Tori. Maybe she knew about the other two and didn't care. But the fact she didn't know about Tori. It, you know, made her mad, but she tried to call it a little bump. They was like, yeah, right. It was an actual altercation with all that that was going on. Now, if y'all want to hear the whole breakdown of day three and four, I can post that. But a lot of y'all don't seem like y'all watching it. So I'm kind of putting up little stuff here and there so y'all can kind of know what's going on. But anyway, y'all comment down below, like the video, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to Banger Plate Game. Make sure you check me out on social media. Go check out my IGT page. Like I said, I'll be posting stuff over there that I can't post over here. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, be blessed. Anyway, enough of that stuff.